Day two, let me do a recap of what I, a few things that I did off camera. So this is, you can see where I removed a lot of the front assembly. Basically everything except for the power stand pump and the water pump. So the alternator's off and uh, the other thing that was underneath the alternator is, I took that off too. And I'm left with this bracket right here. And this bracket is this fucking solid metal. So like no give to it. Which I would normally leave this like and wait till it's on the mount to take it off. But there's a screw that's directly screwed through the engine mount. I don't know if you can see that. So I have to take this off in order to get that one screw off. Another thing, this is the side where the exhaust manifold, I couldn't get all the screws out. See, there's that one screw right there. I couldn't get that screw out. So, in order to lift the engine out, the exhaust got to be disconnected at some point. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna disconnect it right here at the little flange because I can easily get those, those two screws. Yeah, I mean, even though you can't see them, but they're on the bottom side. They're on like the bottom side of this little hub right here. So I can easily get those two screws off and that's how we're gonna do that. And then once it's on the stand, I'll get that last screw out. Now the other side, this side, if you remember, is all the way disconnected. All the screws on this side are disconnected. I'm still gonna take the, unscrew the flange at the bottom of this because I'm gonna get different headers. But this side is totally disconnected. All right, now I'm about to put together this engine hoist and then we gonna uh, undo those screws to the transmission and we gonna hook it up, we gonna get it going. So uh, I got the engine hoist assembled, but it took me a lot longer than I expected. I mean a lot longer than I expected, like hours. But so I'm gonna let you see the engine hoist, then I'm gonna cut you back on tomorrow and we'll we'll pick up tomorrow getting the engine out of the car. Just to give you some perspective, I'm about six feet tall. So this thing is huge and it weighs a, l a lot, but that's good because that means it's sturdy. I do have one complaint though about this Harbor Freight lift and it's the that the instructions were fucking trash. I mean, screws weren't labeled, bolts not labeled. You just had to really figure it out, trial and error style and wing it. There's a couple times I had to take this joint apart and put it back together because I had the wrong screws, stuff wasn't fitting right. Like, the instructions are trash, but once it's together, this thing is nice. So I had to go to Advanced Auto Parts, grab this guy right here, and uh, I'm gonna bolt this up. I'm gonna get this, uh, this, I'm gonna get this engine up out of here. This is the last piece I needed. So 
So I've taken off a little bit more of the front assembly to make clearance a little bit easier for when I pull this thing out. I'm really thinking about taking off this water pump too, but uh, we'll see how it goes when I start lifting on this thing. I've already tested that, I tested the chain. Oh, I forgot to get that fucking thing. Motor mount screws in the back. You see this thing, I kind of separated this a little more. The uh, exhaust manifold. I'm gonna crawl up under here and give y'all the, the motor mount scoop. So this is me getting underneath the car. So when you get under here, you see here's the spring. Behind the spring, there's a hole. If you look through that hole, hold on, let me get a light. If you look through that hole, let's zoom in. You kind of see up in there, there's a bolt in there. I don't know if the camera is focusing on it. But there's a bolt in that hole. So, spring, hole, in that hole is a bolt. That is the motor mount bolt. On the other side, it's the exact same thing. So if you undo those two screws, then the motor mounts will be free. Now also underneath here, I've also, I don't know if you can see, everything is kind of upside down. So just a, I don't know if you can imagine. I've also unscrewed the bolts from underneath here to the transmission. You can see from underneath right here, this is the exhaust. The exhaust flange, manifold, whatever you want to call it, and it is disconnected. Well, you can see, you can see. Better angle. is disconnected this is the exhaust and it is disconnected so now I just gotta you know pull it do a little prying just to pop the engine a little further away from the transmission and then that's it we up we lifting off so underneath here in between the engine and transmission there's this little cover it covers up the torque converter so you gotta unscrew this and get this off first. And then once you unscrew this and get underneath there, you'll see like four screws in the torque converter. You gotta unscrew the, those four screws and then the engine will be free. And just so you know, those four screws in the torque converter are on there tight. I'm talking tight. And those screws, let's see how I'm talking. One, two, three. Once you take them three out, one, one two, three, then the, the engine will be free from the transmission. So I've been using this for this whole project and it's been working for the most part. It ain't gave me no problems. I've been able to get every screw off with this, you know. But those three in the transmission, it, it was impossible. So I had to actually go and buy like a real something like I really like crank down on with all my might and weight and everything because this right here was just like look at this and this wasn't I mean it wasn't a big buy but I you know I, any money that I don't have to spend I ain't trying to spend it you know what I'm saying but this was like $12 at Walmart but hey you gotta do what you gotta do so I mean if you got a strong friend or if you got a long uh socket wrench so we can really torque down on it you're gonna need it fam because it's 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 a monster this tire is kind of stuck on the lift so I'm gonna have to let some of the air out of the tire just so I could slide the lift off from underneath it Let 
fryer is so flat, it's like spinning on a, on a thing now. The original tire is crusty, boy. Sheesh. But at least we know the love pattern now and I can go shopping for rims. All right, so next, I'm gonna roll the engine hoist into place and I'm gonna hook it up. Now I'm lifting real slow because it still was kind of glued to the transmission. So I'm really just lifting and checking behind the transmission so I can maybe pry, pry it a little apart. All the screws is out. It's just, you know, it's been together so long that it's not fully separated. I don't want to break the transmission because I'm still finna, I'm still gonna use the transmission. So I'm just lifting real slow and I'm, I'm prying with my little pry bar. Prying with my little pry bar and giving it some taps just to kind of break it apart, you know, slowly. She took a lot of wrestling, but it's out of here. We out of here. did it. A little help from my girlfriend. A little elbow grease. I did it. So now I'm gonna put this thing on the stand, break it down a little bit further, and we'll go from there. Uh, I'm gonna close out with a shot of this thing on the stand and uh, that was it. Oh, remember to like, share, subscribe because it took me a lot to get this engine out, especially since it's just me and my damn girlfriend. Ain't got nobody over here helping me or nothing. Like, like eight, eight, my homeboy A1, he helped me out on the first episode, but he been busy working, so I had to just tough it out and do it myself. But like, subscribe because I went through it to get this thing out. <laughs>